So now I spent quite a bit of time today looking at different op amps. In this video, we're going to focus on the UA741, which I've been using in a lot of recent videos, and the LM308. And we're going to do a side by side comparison and uh, interesting thing I discovered. And so to begin with, we have 18 volts at the rail here. And I have both of these op amps the LM308 and the UA741 wired as voltage followers. So we set a voltage here and we can either look at it from the negative rail or I made a kind of virtual ground here. So this is a halfway point because they're equal value resistors, one going to the negative rail, the other one going to the positive. So we have 9 volts positive there and 9 volts negative there. So we could uh, look at it two ways but uh, for this one I think it would be a little easier there because there it's uh, zero volts but we can do that at the output we have the same voltage there and the same voltage there that we set at the trim pot but it's zero volts so that may be a little confusing we could also look at basically just a spec under nine again nine volts and 9 volts so we got the follower so that's not the terribly interesting part we're going to turn the trim pot up all the way and so now we have the 18 volts because we're all the way up to the positive rail from there and there you can see we have about a diode drop below 18 volts and then this one it's uh a lot closer what is it about a about a tenth of a volt off so it's closer it's almost the uh, rail voltage right there and so this one's not terribly far off this is the LM308 and so the it looks like the UA741 gets to the positive rail better now we are going to turn the trim pot down to the negative rail for uh, zero volts if we want to look at it that way going here so 0 0.189 looks like that's what we got looks like it's about the same getting to that input so I've kinda had problems with uh, voltages being thrown off for some reason uh, the board may be wearing out or something but in any case we have about a diode drop above that zero volts so we can see that that's the voltage we have at the non-inverting input and uh, so now this one it's a whole lot worse we're two, vo two volts away from zero volts so looks like the 741 op amp does a whole lot worse getting to the negative rail than the 308 right there and so that was just uh, one of the things I noticed and so I used this uh, UA 741 quite a bit I may have uh, slightly damaged it or something I've damaged other op amps and so but uh, I think this is probably what you can expect from these two I only have one LM308 so I can't compare it with other ones to make sure it's behaving exactly the same but in any case I thought that was interesting depending on how close you need to get to the rail of course I've known this it depends on the uh, op amp that you use and so that's uh, one of the differences that I hope to get better at explaining in the future but in any case hopefully you still enjoyed this video this experiment and I will see you in the next video